Peter Plack. That's Klingon for hello. Who am I kidding? You all knew that already. I'm sure some of our keener viewers could tell me which part of the Klingon Empire my accent is from. That's right, southeast Kronos. Although here's a curveball I summoned on Galanda 4. But enough of all that, we've got two fresh teams here ready to test their lateral thinking. So let's all say a warm kaplak to, on my right, Henry Patinez, a postdoctoral research scientist with a PhD in pharmacokinetics who's a fan of Japanese anime. Nick Mills, a software tester and enthusiastic member of the Egypt Exploration Society. And their captain, Stephen Pearson, a librarian with a degree in classics and ancient history who enjoys visiting National Trust properties. United by a passion for pawns, they are the chess men. Stephen, chess is a game of ruthless logic. Is that helpful prep for Only Connect? I think it may even be a disadvantage because you have to think along logical pathways, whereas on Only Connect we have to range much more laterally. So we're just going to have to train our minds to think slightly differently for this. You will be facing tonight on my left. Virginia Fasnage, a retired personal assistant who enjoys historical reenactment and is the proud owner of an eight kilo cat. Gail LaCarbonara, an EFL teacher who has lived in Massachusetts, California, Florida, West Virginia, New York and Seattle and enjoys making soap. And their captain, Tom Fasnage, a teacher and beetle maniac with an interest in postcodes and sandwich recipes. United by a love of languages, they are the linguists. So, Tom, you and Gail live together and Virginia's your mum. That is correct. How did you come to be the captain? Um, I am the tallest. We'll find that out at the wall round. <laughs> How are the team dynamics so far? Um, yeah, we're kind of... Uh... No bruises yet. Yeah. <laughs> In round one, I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues, but if the teams buzz in and tell me the answer after seeing fewer than four clues, they'll get more points. Chessmen, I see you won the toss, but you're putting the linguists in first. So, Tom, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. We will start with water, please. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. We just need the connection, don't we? Yeah. It is the surnames of the monkeys. Good work. Very well spotted. You didn't need to see talk and dough lens. We have disguised the surnames of the members of the monkeys by adding punctuation. <laughs> Very well done, the first one there, Michael Nesmith. What do all quizzes know about Michael Nesmith? One, two, three. His mother His invented, invented Tipex. <laughs> <laughs> His mother invented liquid paper, every quiz fan's favourite fact. Chessmen, your turn to choose a hieroglyph. Uh, lion, please. Lion. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Do you know what that would mean? Uh, it's, uh, it's the Chancellor of Germany. Uh, it's the People's Chancellor. So it could be... Names of heads of government. Right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're going to go next to the shall we? Yeah, go, go, go. Next, please. Oh, no. Uh, that's only happened once. That was 1877. Oh, no, Kanzlerin is um, for Angela Merkel. She's the first female. Because I, 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 I can't say the first. I think Kanzler. we have to go next. There's only been one. Next. There's only been one. Uh, There's only been one. Uh, only been one. Is, that, is that the female? Yes, it's Angela Merkel. go for that, then. Yeah, yeah. There's only been one of these. There's only been one of these things. We're obviously going to have a strong lineup tonight. Coming in after two clues, you also get three points. There has only been one Bundeskanzlerin, that is a female chancellor, the German Bundeskanzler for Chancellor, that's Angela Merkel. Only one dead heat in the boat race. You didn't need to see English Pope. Do you know who that was? Uh, Nicholas Breakspear. That's Adrian, right. Adrian the Fourth. Adrian the Fourth, exactly so. And Black American President. There has only been one of each of these. Very well done. Back to you then, linguists. The fight is on. What would you like? Let's have the twisted flax. The twisted flax. OK. What connects these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Oh, Next, please. We don't have to whisper, you know. Next, please.
Probably squeezing the points, did it? Probably. 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 Shall we get to the next um, one? She's zero points. Let's try and be my Gemini. She's got zero points in your revision. Okay. Shall we go for that? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to check it out? No. 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 Okay, go for it. Go for it. Uh, they score zero. Goodness me. It sounds to look like we'll be finished with this quiz in about ten minutes. We can all go for a drink. <laughs> they Wait. score or scored zero. There are all the clues up on the board there. What can you tell me about them? Um, never played cribbage. I assume 19 scores you zero. Cry Baby by Gemini was a British Eurovision entry that did very, very badly. Yes, in 2003, scored null point. Um, Don Bradman needed uh, to score four in his last innings to have a test average of 100 and scored O. Leaving him with a test average of? 99.94. Yes, a tragic story about Don Bradman. He was on Test Match Special a, year, uh, a few years ago. And they asked him, they said, Mr. Bradman, the bowlers have changed since you were playing. They're all enormous now and they bowl much faster. And do you think if you were playing today, you could still get an average of 99.94? And he said, no, I don't think I could. But then I am 87. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all score or scored zero points coming in after two clues. You get three points again. No null point for you. Chessmen, your turn to choose. Two reads, please. Two reads. Oh. Ah. The music question. We'll see how clever we are on this one. You will be shouting next when you want to hear the next clue. Here's the first. But you put on quite a show. Any idea about really the artist? Next, please. Next. Oh, this is Hold and Beyond, I think, but I can't remember who it's by. It's somebody from about 1985. Oh, dear. Uh, next, please. Oh, is it um, Comet Relief songs or something? Uh, not this all of them. This was, was um, the uh, Cherry uh, Lane. Uh, uh, next, please. Next, please. Five seconds. Cherry Lane. Yeah. Um, cards. Cards? Yes. Not it, I'm afraid. The music question is always a tricky one. Linguist, you have the chance of a bonus point. Is it something to do with Tintin? No, it isn't. You recognise the second piece, Hold Me Now by the Thompson Twins, but we could just as well have played Hold Me Now by Johnny Logan because it's about the titles of the song. You said this. We heard Sorry. Rihanna's Take a Bow, the Thompson Twins' Hold Me Now, the charity single Love Can Build a Bridge, and finally Deck the Halls, mm -hmm. Bow, Hold, Bridge, Deck, oh, okay. Parts so of a good. Ship. No bonus for you linguists, but you may choose your own question. We will have the Horned Viper. The Horned Viper. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. OK, that's that's on. <laughs> Next, please. Perhaps it's a plane and it's, um, on, on the Air Force. Possibly. Next, easy, please. Um, I can't even see what's that. Oh, it's got sounds about Beach Boys. Um, oh, gosh. Um, I, um, <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> One second. Um... <laughs> they are all being filmed here today. <laughs> They're all being filmed here today. Unfortunately, no, they are not all being filmed here today. Just as well, because my dressing room's a little small. <laughs> Chessman, you've got the chance of a bonus point. Is it something to do with having moved? Having moved? Well, I'm just thinking only connect having moved from BBC4 to BBC2 and hoping that there's... Yeah. So they, they, and Dad's army... Moved from BBC1 to BBC1 to BBC1? Yeah. <laughs> I was on the radio at some point, so... Uh, right, yes. And I <laughs> don't <laughs> think we can pursue this um, uh, uh. idea any further. <laughs> The answer to this one is quite literally staring you in the face. They all have the same typeface. Oh, it's Cooper Black. The first three always use that typeface. The Dad's Army credits and the EasyJet logo oh, oh. and the yeah. Beach Boys album Pet Sounds. But with Only Connect, we put it into mm -hmm. that typeface. It's a little extra clue. We don't I normally use it. Confuse us. Ah, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> but yes, they all use the same typeface. That leaves one question on the board for you, chessmen. It'll be the Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. At the pupil, that's it. Think... Yeah, yeah, next, 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 please. 
how they all mean. And do they all derive from the same thing? No, we didn't know that. Was it? Oh, yeah. Next, please. Oh, they can, you can change the A for no. Um, Opt, opposite, owl. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, they can become other words if you change the A into an O. You didn't need to see the last clue, onion, which could become onion. Coming in after three clues, you get two points. An iron. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Chem is it an iron? Chemistry thing, yeah. I honestly don't know what it is. What's an anion? It's a negative iron. It's like my, 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 my GCSE chemistry teacher told me this one. So uh, a cation is positive, and so you remember it is pussy cat. So pussy cat sounds like positive, and anion, you know your onions, and an anion should be negative. That's just that's just the way. It that's is. the way it was complicated. Excellent. How to remember it. Yeah. Do you know it's, it's not the first time I've asked the question, "What's an iron?" My <laughs> husband hears it quite often. <laughs> Do it yourself. <laughs> yes, you can swap that first A for an O to make new words. Very well done. That means at the end of round one, the chessmen have five points, the linguists have six. In round two, there are still four clues. The teams still have to spot the connection, but this time they'll come in a sequence, and I want to know what would be fourth. They may see a maximum of three clues before giving me the answer. OK, linguists, you're going first again. Please choose a hieroglyph. We'll start with the lion, please. The lion. OK, what would you expect to see fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Yep. Next. Oh, it's the, um, the thing is the, um... OK, do it. Oh, no. Um, it's, um... Is there anything between that? Yeah. Next, please. Oh. Um, yeah, I think it is. Portland. The answer is Portland. That would be next. And why? Uh, shipping forecast areas uh, from somewhere to Portland. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're moving along the English Channel in the, in the shipping areas, as heard in the shipping forecast, but in which direction? West. That's right. We're moving east to west mm. yeah. along the English Channel. Very well done. OK, Chessmen, your turn to choose. Two reads, please. Two reads. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Street, you've got pedestrian eyes. Uh, uh, yes. Should we go next? Yeah. Next, please. Uh, did we unsuccessfully bid for the Olympics? Uh, yes, I think because Birmingham did unsuccessfully bid for the Olympics at one point. Oh, so what's fourth? Oh dear. Uh, so 2000, it'd be 2004. So something that unsuccessfully bid for the Olympics in 2004. Uh, should, we, uh, should we go next? Yeah, uh, next, please. Yeah, the match is so just say a city that yeah. oh, no, 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 there would be six or seven. Did it? Five seconds. London, two thousand and four. Not the answer, I'm afraid. There's a bonus chance for you linguists. Manchester, two thousand and four. That's not it. Poor old Manchester, trying and trying. Eight. No. There's a trick in this question. The answer is London, twenty twelve, and that's because for two thousand and four and two thousand and eight, Britain did not put in an Olympic bid. We tried with Birmingham 92, Manchester 96, Manchester 2000, and then opted out and bid again for London 2012, which was the successful one. So no points there. Linguists, which hieroglyph would you like? Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. OK, what will be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK, next. Next, please. This is about ships. Oh, so it's a triangle. Oh, so triangle facing down. Uh, triangle or... facing to the right. Yeah. No. No. Triangle facing. Because it goes um, left. Up, down. A triangle with the point facing down. I'll accept that, but I'd love you to give me an example. What's something with a triangle with a point facing down? Mm. Like. I can't even do that. <laughs> um, like, 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 well, like that, that yes, that. A Thank give you. way sign. There you go, oh. yes. These are rotating oh, yes. triangles, yeah, so yeah. a triangle to move the Microsoft Word scroll bar left mm. points to the left. Mm. 
the upwards facing triangle on a mm. clothing label means bleaching allowed. That would be mm, prior to using yeah. an iron, I imagine. Yeah. Play, it points point to the right, down. and we need something where the triangle mm. points down, and that would be, for example, a giveaway sign. But well done for the points, and Chessman, back to you. Uh, twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What will be fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. We'll go next, John. Uh, next, please. Oh, that's R E M. Um, what is it? No, S D R D D R. I don't know. That's the group R E M in the top right hand corner. Shall we? Um, oh, no, go I next. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next, please. That's not going to be S E M rim. or R rim. rim. So is it Ram? Oh, it's Ram. Yeah, it's Ram. Rim. Rim. Yeah, yeah. Rom. Rom. No, no, no. We don't need memory. We don't need. R-O-M. Yes. R-O-M. Well, something that is R-O-M and we'll go for read-only memory. An acceptable answer would be read-only memory. Yes, S-D-R-D-D-R, that's single data rate and double data rate examples of RAM. Mm. Berry, Buck, Mills and Stipe, they're members of R-E-M. Blackberry Creators, that's RIM Research in Motion, so we're going R-A-M, R-E-M, R-I-M, R-O-M. Read-only memory. Fifth in the sequence, of course. Victoria's little helper. <laughs> Very well done. Linguists, your choice. Water, I think. Water, OK. What will be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. So what's the next? It's the last one, so the next one. You know what the next one is, so... OK. Do you need to go for the next one? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go to the next one, so you like... Um, it's one of two things. OK, well, go to the next one, so you know it's next. Next, please. And the next. <laughs> Three seconds. A tragic gardening accident. That is the correct answer. First, a bizarre gardening a bizarre accident. Gardening accident. And what is the sequence? These are the, uh, the tragic demises of Spinal Tap's drummers. That's right, the fates of drummers in Spinal Tap. The first one in a bizarre garden accident that the police thought it might be better not to investigate. The next one choked on vomit. Nobody knew whose. <laughs> Third, spontaneously combusted. <laughs> and then uh, exploded on stage fourth, but we're going backwards. So, yes, first, a gardening accident. Well done. So, again, one question remains, Chessman, the horned viper slithering there. I expect they're going to be picture clues, because we haven't had those yet. So, what would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. It's a brewing, isn't it? It's a... <laughs> you say it's a brewery? I think so. Yeah, we're still, we're still, but, uh, still, next, still, please. Still, yeah. Is that B.B. King, perhaps? Or... Go next, go next. Uh, next, please. Shinies, maybe? Well, is, is it is shin pads? And so what, is a still? Oh, still waters run, so it's a deep. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so we can say the deep. Yeah. Um, a picture of the deep. A picture of the deep blue sea, exactly what I was looking for. And why? Because the first one's a still, the second one I deduce is uh, muddy waters, the third one is people going for a run, and still waters run deep. That's exactly right, the phrase still waters run deep. How old do you think that phrase is? Oh, Shakespeare. Older. Oh. I mean, we don't know exactly how old, but uh, there's a version of it found in the poem written about 1300, Cursa Mundi. There the flood is deepest, the water standest stillest. At the end of round two, the chessmen have nine points, the linguists have 12. <laughs> Time for the connecting wall. 16 jumbled up clues that need to be sorted into four connected groups of four. Points available for finding the groups and the connections and bonus points if you get them all right. Chessmen, you'll be going first this time. Now, you chaps had a go at Only Connect once before, about five years ago. Do you have fond memories of the wall? Oh, a mixture of good and bad, but probably more bad than good, I'm afraid. <laughs> that sounds like us. <laughs> well, good luck this time. You have a choice, lion or water? Uh, water, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. Uh, Cabana is by Barry Manilow, as is Could It Be Magic, as is Bermuda Triangle. Uh, which is there? Uh, probably some other things as well. Can we see another I one? I can see. Yes, I by them. No, Renault Clio, Renault Laguna. 
Is there a yes. Laguna Renault? Beach? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, what other Renault cars could there be? Oh, there are definitely some muses. Let's see. So we've got Erato, Urania, Calliope, and Thalia. Oh, well done. Beaches. Copacabana Beach, Laguna Beach, Venice Beach in California, so, Bondi Beach. And Copacabana Beach, though. Uh, 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 Kangoo is a Renault car. Is, is a car. As is Clio, is it? Yeah, Renault Laguna. Renault Laguna and... Renault Mandy. Should we, <laughs> should we, uh, should we try Venice? Yeah. Uh, Barry, Barry Manilow. It was again, Clio, really. I did when you were trying to call Coco Pabana. Mandy. And, and, and I think we should try, try that one. one. Could Daybreak, could that be one? Could Kangoo oh, be hang one? Hang on, so, oh, well, if we've got too okay. many, there's we've got six. But then the beach is... Kangoo's with his car, don't we? Wind, what's wind? Uh, Venice. Or is it wine? What is boulders? Well, Clio... I think it could only be a, a Renault car. Should we try Luke. lots of lots of cars? And what else did we? Renault Daybreak. Yeah. Uh, oh. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We got. We got one. Right, we got so another. So another. Let's hit that. So we've got. Beaches. Yeah, we've got, beaches. 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 Three strikes and you're out. Could it be magic? Oh no. And <laughs> we've tried Mandy. No, no, so. no. no. Could, could it be magic? What? No. What, what are we trying to do here? Oh, we're trying to get the Barry Manilow. All oh, right. Okay. So beaches. Oh, beaches. Right. Okay. Let's undo those. So could, could Mandy be beach. Mondi, Bondi beach. beach. Venice beach. Venice beach. Unless Venice could be a Barry Manilow song, which is not, is it? Uh, it could be Daybreak Beach. Actually, we've got three goes. So if we go, and then that one. That's it. You solved the wall. This time, more good than bad. OK, so you get four points for finding the groups. I'm going to give you more points for the connections. This first group, Arato, Urania, Thalia or Thalia, Calliope or Calliope. Calliope, perhaps. I don't but anyway, I, I think they're all muses. They are the Greek goddesses known as the muses. Second group, what can you tell me about that Renault, one? Renault cars, are they? Start with cars and then you share <laughs> um, some more. I, 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 we'll say they're all cars, and if you prompt us for more information, we'll say they're all Renault cars. I'd like some more information. I believe Renault. they're all Renault cars. That's right, they're all Renault vehicles. The pink group, Copacabana, Venice, beaches, Boulders, beaches. Bondi. Uh, they're all beaches. They're all beaches. And the blue group at the end there, starting with Bermuda Triangle, what about that one? Uh, well, certainly three of them are Barry Manilow songs, Bermuda Triangle, Mandy and Could It Be Magic, and so I imagine that Daybreak is a Bermuda Triangle, uh, is a Barry Manilow <laughs> song as well, although I have to say I'm not familiar with that one. And I'm not terribly familiar with the, with the whole of Barry <laughs> Manilow's Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. But Barry Manilow songs. You're clearly a devoted <laughs> Manilow fan, as is only right and proper. Yes, they are. So for more points for the connections, and you get a bonus two points for getting it all right, that is the maximum of ten. Time to bring back the other team, give them a fresh connecting wall, see if they can unravel it in the same way, avoid the red herrings and find the connected groups. Linguists, you'll have the lion wall because water's already been taken. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. There are pastries, there are and crumble, so there's five pastries. There are parts of uh, a mill. Okay, should we start going for one? What's the Oh, there, there are, yeah. Okay. You don't have to whistle. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Yeah. Pedal. <laughs> Shuttle. Pedal. What one? Pedal, pedal. Pedal. And what we... Okay. okay, so we've got pastries and what else? Uh, we have, um, we've got, yes, we've got a turnover, a strudel, a cobbler and a crumble. And, and a pie. pie. Then we've okay. got... Well, which couldn't be anything else. A strudel's not going to be anything else. Mm. Yeah. Crumble. Or should we? I think we should figure out the others before we get that yep. one sorted. Okay. Um, transporter. transporter, tricorder, yeah. phaser. There's some. There's uh, uh, Star Trek things in here, uh, and that leaves us with beater, row, capper, and one other. Hyperspray. No, hyperspray. Oh, I think no, might be no. might be Star Trek. Okay. Sorry, I thought we were doing that. Beater, capper, and. Oh, they've got their own, they're, they're pi, beta, kappa, rho, they're Greek letters. Of course they are. They're homophones yeah. for Greek letters. Yeah, okay, I yes, think, okay, I think we so can do it. Okay. Turn over, strudel, cobbler, crumble, yes. Three strikes so, now. So pi, rho, kappa, beta, beta. And this is, this, yeah, this must be Star Trek. That's it, you've solved the wall. And you did so in a very calm manner, well done. That's four points for the groups. What about the connections? First blue group, starting with treadle or treadle. What can you tell me about that? Oh, they're they're part of a, a of a loom. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Parts of a loom. And the next one, turnover, strudel, cobbler, crumble. You can have <laughs> They absolutely are. Can you tell me anything else? Uh, dough and fruit. 
apple. Are they, apple. They can be apple, apple ones. It would be, be traditionally apple. made with apple, wouldn't it, turnover strudel cobbler crumble, that you can make it with anything? Well done. And what about the pink group? What can you tell me about that one? It's homographs. My favourite. They sound... They are homographs for Greek letters. That's exactly right. They are words that could be said to sound like kappa, pi, rho and beta Greek letters. And the final group, transporter, tricorder, phaser, hypospray. N not a Star Trek person, but I think they are Star Trek related things. They are technologies from Star Trek. Well, kaplak to the full ten points. <laughs> they are technologies from Star Trek. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The chessmen have 19 points, the linguists have 22. So it will be decided in round four, the missing vowels round, where we've taken well-known names, phrases or sayings, we've taken out the vowels and we've squidged up the consonants, and I want to know, what are those disguised words? Fingers on buzzers. The first group are all countries that start and end with the same letter. Linguists? Central African Republic. Correct. Chessmen? Armenia. Correct. Chessmen? Antigua and Barbuda. Correct. Linguists? Solomon Islands. Correct. Next category, chance cards in Monopoly. Chessmen? A get out of jail free. Correct. Linguists? Sorry. No, you lose a point, Chessman. Do you know it? Too long. It's advance to Mayfair. Next clue. Not Monopoly players. This one is too late, I'm afraid. You are assessed for street repairs. Next clue. Chessman? Drunk in charge. That's right. <laughs> Next category, idioms found in Aesop's fables. Linguists? Cry wolf. Correct. Linguists? Sarah Great. Correct. Chessmen? The lion's share. Yes. Linguists? Add insult to injury. Yes, it is. Next category, Olivier Award winners for Best New Musical. <laughs> but we will not get to see those clues because it's the end of the round. Looking at the final scores, finishing in second place with a very credible 24 points, it's the Chessmen. But the winners with 26 points are the Linguists. So, well done, linguists. You are through to the next round. But, chessmen, you don't go home. You get another go. So, in a way, you're also through to the next round. It's just not the proper next round. It's... If you think of the tournament as a series of steps, the other team are, as it were, on the next step, whereas you're on the same step. Although, arguably, you've gone down a step because you couldn't get knocked out and you could next time. I hope that helps. <laughs> the main thing to remember is that no-one's going home. All the teams will be back again for another go at some stage of the competition. We believe in second chances. We're giving in that way, just not in a prize's way. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>